When I'm in a relationship, I don't believe in spending my money on my man. His money is for me. My money is for me. Okay, so that means when we go out, we go on dates, we go shopping, we do whatever, we are using his money. My money does not get touched, okay? That is just the standard. Argue with your mama. I think that this is so funny how um, uh, there's there's some women online that make just, just make other women look bad um, and make women seem like they're just, uh, you know, not really... Uh, worth the time. And and this is one of them. She went viral um, on Spiritual Word and a couple of other places too. Um, and I just kind of want to talk about her concept. I have a couple of clips. Let's get into it. There's some things I expect a man to pay for while I'm dating him or we're in a relationship. All dates. Like, sir, you're courting me. You're dating me. Like, you should be paying for the date. I don't pay for dates. So I like, what are we doing here? Now, of course, I don't you know, men don't mind paying for dates. Um, all that other shit, uh, being honest with you, do you not clean yourself? Um, uh, at the end of the day, he, she's also talking about, um, at some point paying for her rent, um, as if she's not a full functioning adult. I think that's crazy as hell, um, to say out loud. And again, this is also why a lot of men, um, this also creates the pop propaganda and the fear mongering as well, um, that women are not, you know, um, cooperative as you guys put it personally i just i just um think that you know this is just crazy to say out loud um and probably um why men don't take you serious why would you ask me on a date if you're not gonna pay for it that doesn't make any sense to me now i know you don't want to look at my crusty nails and my nails are never crusty because i'm a model so i have to get my nails done for shoots and like i usually upkeep my nails once every two weeks so you got to be able to afford my nails to be done once every two weeks you just have to to date me honestly when it comes to hair I have like that wash and go hair, but still products are expensive. Like my conditioners, my leave-ins, my detanglers, my co-washes, like hair is expensive. Like she's talking about her hair as if she doesn't do that shit already. Like you, like imagine if, you know, I hop into a relationship and said, hey, you know, you want to see my haircut, you got to pay 40 to $50 to, to get cut my hair now it'd be cool if you pay for it if a woman pays for it i've known women to do that for men um pay for their haircuts and uh, all that stuff um uh, but it's not a given and it's also like nigga you've been doing this before i showed up what have you been doing before i showed up um i think that that's crazy to just um expect a man again you are a full functioning adult you also make money she says she's a model or whatever um so you make money um and you don't have these detanglers. You're not going to Target or Walmart or Amazon, wherever you get your hair products at. Like, you're not already getting that stuff. So I'm going to need you to front the bill on that. You know, like, you need to help me out. Now, if you guys don't already know, Ubers are a given, a must. Like, I do not pay for my transportation to these dates. You must get my Uber. That is just the standard. I don't like looking like a bush monkey. So waxing is a given. I feel like nobody wants to see that so yeah you got my wax right you got my wax now further down the line i'm not talking about the first few dates but eventually you're gonna have to pay my rent like girls got bills to pay and i am too feminine to like pay for myself so i mean i do that now but like if i'm with you why would i pay for my own bills oh no and so what are you doing right now like you like like paying bills has nothing to do with the gender has nothing to do with femininity it doesn't have to do anything to do with masculinity imagine i went up to a woman and said damn you got your own apartment man you must be a masculine motherfucker that's crazy as hell to say out loud she is a full functioning adult she can pay she can pay for an apartment herself she's been living in uh, without me um i could see if we live together and maybe you know i make the most money or the breadwinner and things like that um i personally believe in um, co-partnering uh i think that this economy is just too much unless you're just just like a millionaire you're donald trump or kim kardashian or something like that where you have the money to pay for everything and then some over but most people obviously don't live like that right so for you to expect this is asinine table oh, what are you 
bring to the table? Sir, what do you bring? Let's talk about you, okay? You still live at your mom's house, work $9 an hour, thinking you're gonna provide for a whole woman, a whole family someday. Like, why do I need to prove to you what I bring to the table? You should be showing me what you bring. Because at this point, I really don't even know what it is. Like, what is it that you're bringing to me, honey, for me to even give you the time of day? Make it make sense, boo. Make it make sense. Well, both of you have to prove what you bring to the table. I mean, that's a relationship um, to put all cards on the table and, and see what makes them compatible. I don't understand what the fuck she's talking about. Um, number two, if you're dating a guy like that, you knew that going into the jump, then that's kind of your fault. Um you know what I mean? Hopefully he plans on, you know, getting out of his mom's house or anything like that. But let's go back, ma'am. You expect a man after a few dates, after a few dates, he, he hasn't given you a title yet. You don't even know if you're his girlfriend or not. But after a few dates, you expect for him to pay your rent. That is crazy. What are you talking about? Um, you both sound like the, the man that you're describing sounds like you, you're in the same boat. Um, and it also sounds like you're deflecting. So, I think that it's crazy to sit online and, and say all these things. And, and, and this is a typically why like red pillars are, are people gravitate to them uh, because they pull up women like you all the time. Um, and they, it's easy to dissect why this is a problem, why you're problematic, why you're toxic. Um, you know what I mean? Cause it clearly you just see men as a wallet. You don't really like them. You don't even know if you like them or not. Um, you're just trying to see what you can get out of them. Um, just because you don't like paying bills, men don't like paying bills. Shit, I don't like paying bills. But I know what I got to do um, to survive and be an adult. So I, I just think that this is fucking crazy, man.